In this video, we're talking about circle theorems. Some of the theorems are a little difficult to remember from geometry. So the first thing to do is define what an inscribed angle is. So I have a diagram here. It points A, C, and B, where B and A and C are lying on the circle. And B is called the apex point, and A and C are called endpoints. And the angle that's right here at B is called the inscribed angle. So moving on from there, we're going to draw, we're going to label this diagram. We're going to call this the center of the circle. And we're going to have... This is called a central angle because it stems from the radius. And using these same endpoints, we're going to draw an inscribed angle. So now this theorem states that if this is equal to x, this angle is equal to x, then this one is equal to 2x. So that means that the inscribed angle is always half of the central angle that lead to the same endpoints. So that we can call our theorem number 1. Now we're going to move to theorem number 2. Theorem number 2 states that when we have two endpoints, just any given endpoint, so we'll go with this endpoint and this endpoint, then any inscribed angle that leads to those endpoints, so for example, here's one, and I'll draw a radically different one, so here's a different one. These angles are both the same. This angle x and this angle is also x because they both lead to the same endpoints. So that will be our theorem number two. This is going to be our theorem number three. Our theorem number three is about cyclic quadrilaterals. So that means that if we draw any quadrilateral, it doesn't have to be a square or rectangle or anything, just any quadrilateral inside of our circle, then the sum, the, we already know that the sum of all the um, angles quadrilateral are 360, but this theorem basically says that opposite, so we'll label them. We'll call this angle A, B, C, and D. This theorem says that angle A plus C equals 180 degrees, and angle B plus D equals 180 degrees. That is opposite angles equal to 180, and we can see that they equal 360 from there. That's theorem number three. Now we'll move on to theorem number four, and this one is going to be dealing with uh, tangents and radii. So again, we need to define our center of the circle. We'll say it's We'll say it's here. So now we're going to draw a tangent to the circle, which is a line that touches the circle at only one point. So there's one tangent. And now we're going to draw the radius that touches it at the same point. And the radius and the tangent are always perpendicular. That means there's a 90 degrees angle right there. So that's our theorem number four. We're going to move on to our theorem number five. Our theorem number five states that when we draw two secants. So secants are lines that intersect right here. Then we call this full distance A, and we call this smaller distance right here B. We call this full distance C, and we call this smaller distance D. Then we can see that A minus B, which is this little piece right here, so right up here, A minus B, which is this piece, times the full length A equals the full length C minus D times the whole length C. So basically what it's saying is that this little piece right here times the whole thing equals this little piece right here times the whole thing. So that's our um, theorem number five. Our theorem number six will be dealing with just tangents. So we're going to be drawing these different colors. If we draw two tangents, just any two tangents that intersect at this point, then we know that this length is equal to this length, and the segments end here. So this segment equals the segment, no matter what, when you draw two tangents. So, and then we're going to have our theorem number seven. Our theorem number seven states that when we have two chords, a chord is just any line that touches both points in the circle two chords, and we're going to label it um, A, B, C, and D, those are the respective segments of the chords, then we know that AB equals CD. And those are our major circle theorems.